Alright, so in my last video, I mentioned that even though the bulk of the free agent signings happened like three weeks ago, I still wanted to talk about some of the players that the Vancouver Canucks acquired as we head into next season, mainly because at this point in time, there isn't much else to talk about around the league. That being said, I wanted to center this video around probably the flashiest piece that the Vancouver Canucks acquired this past offseason. He used to be a forward on the Boston Bruins, and now he will be wearing number 74 on the Vancouver Canucks. His name is Jake DeBrusque. And now Jake DeBrusque was drafted in 2015, 14th overall by the Bruins. This was actually the year that the Bruins had three first round picks in a row. With their other two picks, the 13th and the 15th pick, they took Jakob Zborl and Zachary Senishin, who have combined themselves for a whopping two goals in both of their National Hockey League careers. So I think it's pretty safe to say that Jake DeBrusque with 138 goals was the best of the picks that the Bruins made in that draft class. If you want to know a little bit about Jake DeBrusque, he's a good two-way winger who's good in the forecheck, battles for pucks, he has a physical edge to him and he can also score goals. So basically, this is the perfect talk it type of winger. The one knock that Jake DeBrusque has gotten throughout his NHL career is that he can be quite streaky, meaning sometimes he's putting up numbers, laying hits, being a presence on the ice, and some nights you struggle to notice him. If we look over at Jake DeBrusque's stats, you can see that this past season he was exactly half a point per game, so I mean, he had an okay season, but if you look at the year previous to that, the 2022-23 season, Jake DeBrusque had an absolute monster year, netting 50 points in 64 games played, and if he did play the full 82, he definitely would have gotten upwards of 60, maybe even 65 points in that season. So if we are looking solely at numbers, then yes, there is a little bit of inconsistency there in his game, but a lot of people weren't just excited about Jake DeBrusque and the player that he is right now. A lot of Canucks fans, myself included, are excited about the potential and what the influence of a guy like Tockett could do to transform him and get him to that next level. As I said earlier, this is a textbook Tockett player. It's probably one of the main reasons why Alvin went out and got this guy in the first place. I do hear a lot of people saying though, you know, Jake DeBrusque is 27 years old, he isn't exactly a youngster, so how much more improvement does he actually have? And you know what, that's fair, but then I look at guys like Besser and JT Miller, in just one year with Rick Tockett, they both had themselves career years, and if you compare their ages to Jake DeBrusque's, well, Jake and Brock were in the same draft class, and Miller just a couple of years older, so I do definitely think that there's still some room for Jake DeBrusque to grow, and with a year under Rick Tockett, I could easily see him becoming a much more consistent top 6 forward that could net upwards of 60-65 points a season, especially if he is playing alongside a player like Elias Pettersson. That's a perfect transition to my next point. I want to talk about what Jake DeBrus could potentially do for a player like Elias Pettersson because as we all know, Pettersson had himself a bit of a rough stretch near the end of last season and whether you want to call it an injury or poor line mates, I definitely do think it's a combination of those two. Healthy Elias Pettersson, rested, relaxed, with an actual capable winger that can put the puck in the net, not Ilya Mikheyev, not Sam Lafferty. Like man, just saying that out loud makes me remember how criminal it was to pair Elias Pettersson up with these players. And you know, say it all you want, the best player on the ice, the most expensive player should be lifting his players up. But I mean, there's only so much you can do when Mikheyev is scoring one goal in like 60 games. So I think that Jake DeBrusque will definitely help Elias Pettersson out. And it goes both ways. I think Pettersson will help Jake DeBrusque out because he's going to go into the areas where Pettersson can feed it to him. And DeBrusque will be able to go into the corners and dig the puck out for Pettersson to potentially put it in the back of the net. Finally, if you did watch the Vancouver Canucks towards the end of last season, you would know that their power play fell off a cliff. For some reason, they couldn't really generate anything, and there was an obvious lack of a net front presence. If you've watched Jake DeBrusque's highlights, I think it's pretty safe to say that he will fill this role perfectly. If you look at some of these clips here, he's very good at positioning himself in front of the net, being opportunistic, and getting himself in the areas where he can put in an easy goal, quite like Zach Kleiman. And people say, okay, this is easy, anyone can do this. But no, I think it's a skill to understand where to go and how to get to those areas. And besides, if it were that easy, then everyone would be doing it. So I do think that we have ourselves a great net front presence here in Jake DeBrusque. I'm very glad that he does actually want to be here in Vancouver. He reportedly requested a trade out of the Boston Bruins. We know that relationship was pretty shaky down the line. Maybe that contributed to his lack of a consistent performance. 
and you know in free agency there were a couple of teams like the Oilers and the Kraken that were interested but I am glad that he chose the Vancouver Canucks but yeah man that's all for this video thank you all so much for watching let me know your thoughts on Jake DeBrusque and the contract I think it's pretty good at 5.5 with the cap going up could be a steal if we can get this guy to become a 65 maybe even 70 point guy down the road but we will see what happens anyways I'll see you on the next one peace out and take care